What's good y'all, it's your boy Daru back in this thing and today I am going to show you how to find the secret boss in the Cuphead DLC. If I end up helping out any of y'all in any way at the end of this video, make sure y'all show a lot of love to the video, like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. So step one, buy the broken relic. All you have to do is go into the Pork Rise Emporium and buy that little relic that looks like an eyeball right there. It only costs one coin. I know you have one coin. Just purchase it, bro. Step two, after leaving, you'll see these dudes standing on podiums. Now, anyone who's familiar with these kind of podiums knows that these are placements for like some sort of competition. Talk to the guy in first place and you'll see what he says. He says, I can't believe I've won. Things are looking up. That's actually a clue. He's telling you what direction to hit the gravestones and you'll see when we get there. So keep that in your head. The first guy said things are looking up. Go over to second place. I got up right at the crack of dawn just to come in second upright. And then third guy, my pal cheered me on, but I let him down, left the race in third, down left. So all I got to do is keep that order in mind. And so after that, we're going to go ahead and walk over to these gravestones. I'll go ahead and show the path. I mean, there's literally right there. You can't miss it, but I'll go ahead and show me walking over to him anyway. And you want to do up, upright and down left. I think it changes with everyone. I don't think everyone's going to be exactly that. So make sure you do the ones that it says for yours. But as you can see, this little middle gravestone unlocking, it says, do you want to take a little nap? You go ahead and select yes, and the game will phase you into the secret boss for the Cuphead DLC, which is just like a little angel devil boss where every time you look at one of them, they turn into the devil and that's the one you attack and the angel one behind you doesn't really do anything. I mean, you just shoot projectiles, but they don't hit you. I don't, it's weird. You would think that it would make you look at the angel and then the devil would be behind you laughing and shooting shit at you, right? But I guess not. Now, I went ahead and died right here because I wasn't properly equipped. If y'all want to have an easy way to take this boss out, familiarize yourself with the crack shot. You remember the chaser, that whack weapon that locked onto enemies but did so little damage that it just wasn't worth it? Yeah, they added a better version of that called the crack shot for the DLC. Use that. Upon doing so, I think you'll find that the boss isn't that difficult. And that is going to do it for this tutorial, man. Hey, like I said, if I helped y'all out in any way, make sure y'all show a lot of love to this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Make sure y'all hit me up down in the comments with any suggestions or anything like that. I like talking to y'all down in the comments. And until next time, this is your boy, Daru signing out. Peace.